All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a quick jump cooldown. Um, first thing is first, you want to add a local script inside of character, starter character scripts. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it jump cooldown. All right. And then uh, you want to start by start off by listing some variables. So we're going to list the characters variable, the character and the humanoid as variable. Uh, and I'm also going to put a constant at the top that's going to basically tell us how long we want to wait before each jump. Like a cooldown. Cooldown. I'm going to make the cooldown uh, two so it's noticeable, noticeable for you guys, but you can put it cooldown to whatever you want. Alright. And we're going to have our state change function. Okay, and then we're going to basically de detect every single time the humanoid changes the state to jumping, okay? So this here basically just means that we just, uh, we just, uh, just changed our humanoid uh, state type to jumping so when you jump your humanoid your um, humanoid will have it will change its humanoid state type um i don't say attribute but the properties are jumping okay there's other there's other different types of state types too like uh running falling ragdoll and all that stuff but we're gonna be using jumping for this tutorial okay and so once we jump what we want to do is we want to um, basically set we want to disable the jumping state type. If we disable this, uh, if we disable the jumping state type, it will basically make it so that we can't jump again until it's re-enabled. And then we want to wait the cooldown. And then we want to re-enable it. Okay, so this is actually supposed to be set state enabled, not set state type. So yeah, make sure this is set state enabled, okay? Alright, now that we have our function, we want to connect the function to the the humanoid event. We want to connect it to the um state change event. And that should be it. Um, this is optional, but you can also have a boolean variable that tells you when we can or can't jump. If you want to use it for anything else, we can have um, can jump equals true. And then we can make can jump like um, false here. And then make it true here. Just in case you want to use this like for anything else within this script or any other script. Well, in, yeah, within this script. So, yeah. If we test it out, anytime we jump, we wait two seconds again before we jump again. So right now I'm actually holding down the space bar. See that I jumped? And then it's going to wait again before I jump. Yep. Um, yeah, so this that's how you do it. Uh, the script itself will probably just be in the description. Uh, you can pick the model up if you want to just use a model. Hope this helped you guys. Uh, make sure you guys uh, leave a like. And a comment down below if this helped you or if you have any any other suggestions or any other comments on the method I use itself. And yeah, take it easy.